Hello Underachievers! So, quickly before we get into the video, I obviously have to promote my tour. I am touring the US next month. I'm also playing a show in Toronto, so that's cool. We got VIP tickets, which is really fun. You get to meet me and ask me questions, and we can get pictures. And just a bunch of other fun stuff. If you come to a show, I guarantee you'll have a good time. I also have a Patreon link below, and a Discord link below. I'm also a little bit ill, so sorry about that. But on to this week's video. So, you know the drill. You know what kind of comments that trans people get on the internet, and you know that I kind of find it funny when people try and hurt my feelings. I have made one of these videos before where I rank my transphobic hate comments on a tier list based on which I think is the best one and which is the worst one. But since that last video, of course there's been a good few videos made by insane people. Uh, you know, 40 minute videos about me, about how I want to look like a little boy forever and that I'm grooming children by existing apparently. And obviously getting videos like that sucks. But also, it provides good content. The comments in those videos, always fun to read. So, speaking of the tier list, what are the tiers? So, up here we have round of applause. This is reserved purely just for the best comments ever. The, the comments that not only make me giggle, they make me feel something. Below that we have good effort. You know, there was some effort involved, but you know, could have done a bit better. Below that, we have I feel nothing. And I feel like a lot of the comments will end up in this point, you know. They gave me something, but not quite enough, not very memorable. Below that we have try harder, which is kind of self-explanatory, and below that we have you're just wrong. I feel like a lot of these comments will be put in you're just wrong, because I feel like a lot of the transphobia people deal with nowadays is just straight up misinformation. And I kind of enjoy telling people that they just don't have their facts correct, because that really irritates them. So, let's go. First comment of the day. All you FTM ladies need to stop this nonsense. LARPing as a gay boy 24-7 isn't healthy. Put on a dress, go to church, Marry a man, make him dinner, best feeling ever, I swear. Now this one, kind of iconic. I'm not gonna show you this person's name, but they used to be a trans YouTuber, and then they detransitioned because they realized that transition wasn't right for them. Hell yeah, I completely respect that. I am all for people being happier in their body. Why the hell would I not be? But this particular person, they're now just a turf, like a very religious trad wife turf. Laughing as a gay boy 24 seven isn't healthy. I mean, if that's what people were doing, I, I guess that wouldn't be healthy. I feel like that's not really what trans people are doing though. 23 six would be good. You know, if you had a few hours a week to return to your like natural feminine state, you know, you return back to your husband that you see once a week. My top two things about this comment, number one, go to church, completely see through where this influence is coming from. And number two, make him dinner. That will be the best feeling ever, I swear. I respect that, but I, I can't cook. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put you in good effort because I feel like you could do better. You know, you have the experience of being a trans guy, you know, the arguments, you know, the experience. It's not making me jump out of my seat, but it did give me a little bit of a giggle when I first saw it. I have seen videos of this girl before and I've never seen anyone with so much rage in them before. She is a lunatic. She has crazy in her eyes. Bear in mind, this was a comment that was left on a video where somebody reacted to me talking about why I'm on hormone blockers. I have no memory of being angry in that video. No rage. I cannot recollect the rage. I would describe myself as many things. I wouldn't describe myself as a lunatic, but I do like the fact that I hold a specific space in your brain where you think I'm a crazy lunatic with crazy eyes. That, that makes me happy, so I would have to say good effort. The Peter Pan syndrome here is insane and borderline philic. That's a new one. I'll give you a few breaths there. It's not often people call me a file because I look young. The reason that No Offense has so many followers is because they are Fujoshis. See, I, I hadn't heard of this word until quite recently. I think it's an anime thing. I would not be able to give you any more context than that, but apparently what these people do is they fetishize twink gay boys and No Offense passes in their eyes. That's nice. That this person thinks I pass, but this person commenting is also called Noah. I pass as a gay anime boy. Um, I'm not gay. I used to think I was gay. I'm not anymore. It's their fan when I was identified as trans, okay, detransitioner, I watched her videos and wished to be her because she looked like a cute gay twink boy in my few Joshi eyes. I feel like with these kind of comments, there's always a lot of projection. I have a good few people that have commented stuff like this before where they're like, you tricked me with your videos. You tricked me into thinking I was a transgender and now I'm angry about it, which is just like really interesting to me because I feel like when I talk about anything trans related, I'm just like, hey, this is just my experience. This is just how I feel. I have no desire for there to be more trans people in the world. I just want to help people who are trans, but it's nice that this person liked me because I was a cute gay twink boy. The fact that she is taking hormone blockers as an adult person is just so creepy. This is a comment that really irritates me because it's very clear that this person just doesn't understand why I'm on hormone blockers. Could I possibly be on hormone blockers for the reasons that I said I was on hormone blockers or is it because I'm a nonce? You choose! No, I'm on hormone blockers because I was still having periods even though my testosterone levels 
were perfectly in range. There was nothing I could do about that. I tried different contraceptions, I tried different medications, and my periods were still coming. You know, I tried different levels of testosterone, five years on testosterone, they're still there. So I went on hormone blockers. I don't want to look young. Um, I'm 23, I would rather look 23. I don't think anybody takes hormone blockers so that they can look younger if they're already on testosterone because, you know, I understand if I was on just hormone blockers, but I'm on testosterone. So that's gonna make me look more like a man. That's not gonna make me look like a child. So this has to go in a round of applause. You know, there was a lot of effort made. Very good, very well done. I also kind of want to put it in You're Just Wrong. Maybe I'll put it in You're Just Wrong and we'll reassess at the end. I'm over here now because the light's annoying me. Hi, my name is Noah and my parents are in jail for giving me tea. This was a comment on one of my testosterone update videos. It got like 10 million views or something, it was ridiculous. But all the comments look like this. Where would I rate this? I think personally, I would put this in try harder. It's past the point of feeling nothing, but I'm I'm an adult and I started testosterone as an adult. A lot of people see me and they see that I look young and then they assume that my parents were like forcing me into transition when that could not be further from the truth. But try harder, my good sir. Hi, my name is Noah and this is my voice after my first stroke. So this is another thing about misinformation that irritates me. It makes people think that I'm gonna die just because I'm on HRT. Just to explain the context behind this, testosterone actually increases your risk of having a stroke. But that does not mean that you're going to have a stroke. Testosterone only increases the likelihood of you having a stroke up to the level of a cis man. So if I was born a guy, I would be just as likely to have a stroke as I am now. Which, you know, I don't have titties. I like how my voice sounds. I'm glad I'm on testosterone. We're all good. I'll put this in you're just wrong, because you're just wrong. Oh no, I'm as likely as a man to have a stroke. Fine. Oh, it's Noah, a woman pretending to be a male. Fantastic job, great achievement. I like this one. I don't feel nothing. I would have to put that in... I, I can't put it in good effort, can I? Because there wasn't good effort. I can't put it in round of applause, though, so I guess I have to put it in good effort. Poor kid. Victim of population reduction policy for developed countries. Sometimes it's just heartbreaking to see beautiful girl that being confused and directed to the slaughter of literal castration and destruction of her endocrine system. I hope she frozen some ovule for future possible reproduction. Thank you for the concern. I have actually preserved some of my eggs. I got my eggs frozen before I started testosterone. I'm all good. Thank you for the concern. <laughs> this is sounding really conspiracy theorist. Uh, I enjoy it. As far as I'm aware, I haven't been castrated. I'll update you if anything changes. Also, you know, I gotta go for pelvic exams. My last pelvic exam, they were like, yep, absolutely everything's fine, you're good. So, I'm not too worried, but I appreciate the concern. For some reason, this makes me feel nothing. I think this person's just a little bit stupid or misguided. I'm just gonna put it in, I feel nothing. She is definitely trying to remain a young boy forever, or as long as she can. Sick. Thanks for calling this out. And somebody else responded, a plaything for nonces. That's her goal. So my goal is to look young so that I can sleep with people who are into children. I have no desire to stay like a young boy forever. Saying that, I'm 23. It's not like I'm an old man. I look younger than I actually am. That's fine. But I have no aim of looking this way forever. I, w I would love to be able to grow facial hair and to look a bit older so that I don't get laughed at whenever I'm at a bar and a bouncer is like, yeah, you're not 18. I think I will have to put this in round of applause purely for the response comment saying that I'm a plaything for nonces. I think that's a really interesting and cool idea. Obviously not true, but it was is ambitious, so good job. Oh, her. She is annoying and you can see the narcissistic behavior of herself. The girls do get ignored because the men are taking more of the biggest stories right now. But we can't forget about the woke girls with dysphoria fleeing womanhood and harming men's faces, especially real gay men. For some reason, on like, turf side of YouTube, turf side of Twitter, they think that anybody that identifies as trans is a narcissist. Which I don't have the time to explain to you what narcissism is. You can Google it and you'll find yourself that that's just not true. But I'm really sorry for harming gay men's spaces. I've never been told that. I've only ever been welcomed into gay spaces by gay men. They quite like me. I'm gonna have to put this in try harder. It's kind of just boring. No offense is a terrible YouTuber. That's up to interpretation. After watching this video, her self-assured spread of misinformation is quite terrifying. What people are saying uh, is misinformation is me saying that I'll be absolutely fine on hormone blockers. Turfs love to say that anything that isn't outright saying that HRT is gonna kill you, you're gonna have a stroke, you're gonna be, you know, castrated. They think anything that isn't that opinion in trans spaces is misinformation. Again, boring. Try harder. 
She really has one of the worst sounding testosterone damage voices. Right now is not a good time to respond to this one. My nose is blocked to hell. But I would have to disagree. I actually did go to a professional vocal coach and asked her to assess my singing, asked her to assess my voice. You know, have a look around because she's a professional. She said that she couldn't actually tell a difference between my voice and somebody that went through puberty naturally. She said that I would have no issues regarding my voice. She says it wasn't damaged. This one belongs in You're Just Wrong. Yes, she really is just a girl with a short haircut who puts on a really rather intriguing manly boy man act. But then that probably does explain her popularity. So relatable perhaps. Again, something that is difficult to respond to is people saying that, like, I put on an act. The guy who actually made this long-ass video about me said that because I burped in a video that I'm trying really hard to portray manhood uh, because I burp and fart, and I think that burping and farting makes me a man. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm a terrible actor, I'm a terrible liar, even if I did want to put an act, it would not last longer than, like, a single video. I'd probably end up making an apology video about it as well, but, you know. This one, I feel nothing. I feel nothing. So somebody says the doctors must really hate this poor woman as uh, somebody responded saying I think they love this woman Not only is she a lifelong cash cow. I get my testosterone on the NHS They are not making much money from me She creates and provides a whole herd to follow her footsteps and on top of that they are a loophole to unethical science She created lab rats for the sexual lobotomies scientists will go as far as we let them my guy I'm just taking hormones. I'm just taking hormones and getting my titties chopped off I don't think anybody's out here getting lobotomies because of me a lot of trans foes and turfs are specifically annoyed at trans people that have influence or power or trans people that you know are open about their transition because they think it's going to convince other people to transition as if just talking about your own experiences is convincing enough to make thousands of strangers online go through the difficulties that come with transition this one try harder hmm trying to imagine this person as a woman and i just don't feel it thank you i feel very validated i really needed that first of all it wouldn't have been a pretty woman irregular features weird wide nostriled nose valid i understand that i actually didn't realize i had big nostrils until i started posting videos on the internet specifically covers because i used to film from angles like down here and people would be like oh every time you sing your nostrils flare so i got a big nostrils messed up teeth leaving gaps here and there the grimacing and twisting of the mouth while talking Talking. The very thin upper lip that you also notice. Yeah, my bad. The awkward bumbling English. Oh my god, no femininity at all. I bet she was a tomboy as a girl. That's funny that because people did call me a tomboy and they would be like, are you a tomboy or do you want to be a boy? And I just wouldn't respond. Maybe looking pretty much the same as now apart from the voice. So I probably thought, what the heck? I might as well become a boy. I'd have more success. Males are not required to be perfect in the same way as females. Transphobes seem to think that when trans people consider transitioning that we're like plotting. The reason I transitioned wasn't because I thought it would bring me more success. I honestly thought that it would destroy any chances of me becoming successful. Or at least that was my thought process when I first realized I was trans. I was literally five years old, making packers, putting them in my pants, telling people I was a boy. I literally told my brother that I wanted to be a boy before I was old enough to remember anything. I got bullied for looking like a boy. There's like, there's no thought in my mind before I transitioned that transitioning would make me more successful. Because why would I think that? Because there are people like this that go around chatting absolutely Absolute and back when I was a child, like nine years old, and being terrified of the prospect of growing boobs, I wasn't thinking, oh, women have it harder. What if I just chop these off? From a boyish young man, you don't expect much, and all those things could seem endearing and cute to some. I'm really glad I'm cute to you. I really don't understand where you find the feminine features on that face. This is in response uh, to the guy who made the initial video about me saying that, like, I very much looked like a girl. It was obvious. Of course, you're more expert than all of us laymen and laywomen, but I can point you to many male non-gay Korean entertainers who look much more feminine than this person. Too feminine for my taste, but that's another story. It's just gonna have to be a round of applause, isn't it? Felt like we were taken on a journey with that. I don't know how this girl can think that she passes as a guy in any way, shape, or form. See, this is another thing. Because, like, when I was 15, 16, growing up, didn't have anyone to talk to, I would take my validation from strangers on the internet and what they thought of me and how well they passed. I have been on testosterone for five years. I have not been misgendered in person for years. The only time I ever get misgendered is when people know that I'm trans and misgender me on purpose. People look at me and they see a man. People look at me and they treat me like a man. When I go to a gay club, the gay men will be all over me. It's not the lesbians. But then you go online and there are people like this that are just like, no, clearly a girl. Very obvious, as if they actually think that. I feel like a lot of the adult population who, you know, have medically transitioned 
99% of the time they pass. Even if she took testosterone, it isn't visible at all. That's fair, I don't have a beard. I have pathetic facial hair. She just looks like a regular girl who cut and messed up her hair and acts tough, but there's nothing manly about it. I could describe myself as many things. Tough would not- I would not say that I'm acting tough. Maybe that's the question of the video. Do you think no offense acts tough? Uh, anyway, I'm feeling nothing from this. Just checked out Noah's channel, and to be honest, I'm changing my comment. They are as near as I would describe it if there is such a thing as true trans. From that, I mean I've just watched all the history and descriptions, etc. And this person fits the description of what trans used to be in that they pretty much always felt they were the other gender. Which is not true of many of the more recent cases. Just gotta put it out there for those of you watching. If you don't know that you're trans since you were a child, that doesn't mean that you're not trans. Just because I knew that I did not identify as a girl when I was like 4 or 5 does not mean that every trans person has that experience. My problem with them is although they don't realise it, they are encouraging others who cannot all possibly be exactly in the same position as she slash he was. I'm going to say he actually having watched the channel. Well, I, I earned my he card. He doesn't see the ideology. He really thinks that all other trans people are the same as him and that is just not the case. I... I, I do not think all trans people are the same as me. If there were just a few individuals such as Noah and we weren't being overrun with new cases, then I could see his point of view. I tend to agree with you over the testosterone that he must be on a low dose, but having watched him, I don't think there's any ulterior motive behind it. Me just existing and talking about my life is not convincing anybody to be trans. I watched trans YouTubers growing up and they didn't convince me to be trans. I watched them and I was like, holy shit, this is terrifying. There's somebody that feels exactly the same way as me and they have to do all this work just to feel comfortable with themselves. Oh god, I gotta have to go through a lot in order to feel happy. Like, that was my thought when I saw trans YouTubers. I didn't just think, oh that's cool, they're spending loads of money on surgery and they're putting hormones into their body, that sounds really fun. He is one person who I would be really surprised if they detransition in the future, unless that would be for a medical issue which has arisen out of his transition. He's convinced me, and I'm not easily convinced. I don't think most people have ever said there are zero trans people. I think that there are naturally very, very few. It's true that in the past some of these individuals would have just adapted and or may have ended their lives. My problem is that there is an explosion now and it's nothing to do with genuine gender dysphoria and the idea that kids may end their lives if they don't transition is being pushed onto parents. Whereas this is not the case for the majority of new cases. Ugh. You know the prevalence of left-handed people shot up so quickly a good few decades ago. We hit 1910 through 1940 and the amount of people that were left-handed they, they just appeared. They appeared out of nowhere. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it insane that all these left-handed people are trying to convince other people to be left-handed for some weird reason? Do you think there being an increased rate of people identifying as trans is because they're being convinced by YouTubers to cut off their boobs? Or do you think it's because maybe nowadays it's a bit more acceptable to come out? than it was like 50 years ago. There weren't hundreds and thousands of out proud gay people back in the day because they just couldn't come out. So now we're in a time where we can come out and there are people saying, oh, it's just a phase, all these people following trends. Like, absolutely, there could be a few people that, you know, transition for the wrong reasons or, you know, think they're trans, realize they're not and detransition. Bearing that in mind, it's actually less than 1% of people that do detransition. But just because there are more trans people now does not make it a trend. Noah Finance is so immature. Just can't be bothered with normal bodily functions. That's true. I hate having to piss and poo and smell. Just all of it's really exhausting. She's also a liar. As I don't believe she would bleed for months. So I spoke about in a video that I started progesterone and I bled for like two months straight. This is not something that's uncommon. I think if you literally googled Depo Provera shot, extensive bleeding, it would come up. If she bleed more than a week, there was something seriously wrong. As normal menstruation is a few days to a week. There are over the counter pain meds for menstrual pain and everyone I know did just fine. That's cool that everyone you know did just fine. I would pass out and throw up regularly on my periods so I'm, I'm sorry that your friends didn't have it as bad as me except no I'm not. Sorry but these Gen Z kids seem to be just lost and immature seeking immediate gratification and can't be bothered with normal human functions. It's very sad. The normal human functions is having a period. Yeah, I can't be, I can't be bothered with a period. Yeah, you're right. YouTube can artificially boister accounts as well. So I highly doubt she has the subscribers as shown. Okay, so they're saying I have fake followers. <laughs> I've had this account since I was 15. I guarantee you that is not the case. This is a narrative being pushed on these children. So no doubt they are artificially inflating her numbers. That one, I really felt nothing for. So, I actually have a little surprise for you guys. I have a friend, Jake, who does voice acting and I found this comment and I just thought it needed a dramatic reading. So here is the last comment. It is insane. I hope you enjoy it.
A bored young woman sat in dark solitude, eyes fixated on the man on man smut flashing across the screen of her MacBook Pro. Images of well endowed twinks with their glistening, throbbing, pulsating thighs standing at attention, pointed skyward like a desperate man screaming at the heavens above. Year after year, she had grown more discontent at the daily sight of her womanly father. Day after day, the penis envy grew inside her fragile female mind like a fuchsia monster, thrashing desperately with sexual rage to finally be released. The seed of male homoeroticism had been planted in her psyche some years before by the degenerate and perverted ramblings of Tumblr girls. But alas, in her heart of hearts, she knew she remained but a sad, disillusioned and poor sick young woman. At that moment, however, she suddenly found a flicker of inspiration, a tingle of excitement in her clitoris, a glimpse of a more fulfilling life. It was in that life-changing moment, frozen in time, that she made her choice. She would passionately strip the flesh and skin of her smooth, hands, feminine arm to breathe life into something new. Something beautiful. Something flaccid. This ungodly creation born of lust and desire would be forever melded to her barren pubis and come hell or necrosis. She vowed she would never turn back. It was that night she was born anew. It was that night the egg had cracked. It was that night she became Grammy Award winning multi-genre artist Machine Gun Kelly. It's a f***ing sh joke. I think that was definitely the best one. That's gotta go a round of applause. It was true storytelling. But yeah. That's the end of the video. Bit of a disaster with the lighting and me moving all the time, but I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, Ado. See you later, losers. Goodbye. Wouldn't have guessed he was female this time. Round of applause. Round of applause.